You're back with your Feel Good Breakfast show. It is Expresso right here on SABC3. Now, stop racism has been a very hot topic in our country over the last few months, but some new voices have been added to that conversation, that of the young girls at Pretoria High School with Stop Racism at Pretoria Girls High School. Here to tell us more, we've got vloggers from Pop Culture, Tembi Matlaba and Nwabisa Mda in the house. Now, ladies, we put out the question on social media with mm. regards to what our audience feels about it, and we've gotten quite a few responses. Can we go through some? of those Please. awesome stuff let's start off with uh, maritza who says good morning beautiful team i feel that hair or anything else should not be an issue in schools you are there to learn and nothing should stop that give kids a break also uh, calvin bramley burton says i guess brown sugar doesn't do it for you <laughs> the complete disregard of the cultural differences by all mankind is hidden under the guise of preference. Society has condoned this far too long. Hashtag stop racism towards all. It has brought a sad feeling towards the country incessantly that begs the question when will this end? Hashtag mm. stop racism. Mm. Racism at Pretoria Girls High School. What do you think of that? Um, I mean we also went through some of the comments as well and I think for me one of the things that comes to mind is really just um, just because it doesn't walk and talk like it used to back in the day in terms of what racism looked like, yeah. it doesn't mean it doesn't exist today. Mm -hmm. I think these young girls are protesting behind something that is really valid, and it's not even just at Pretoria Girls. It's at school, schools here in Cape Town as well and just around the country. So I think, you know, in the conversations that we're having, we need to be very careful how we are conversating and how mm -hmm. we need to come to the right solutions. Because yeah. um, I think some of these girls are really standing for something that they strongly believe in, and some of the commentary that makes it seem as though racism doesn't exist. We need to be careful about how we say it, you know what I mean? So I think, yeah, that's pretty much what I have to say about that. What do you think about this comment uh, by Ilani Boyson, who says, good morning, I just want to say I support natural hair all the way. I love bushy hair, but seriously, this is school. Yeah, you can wear your hair the way you want on the weekend, but at school, there's a code of conduct in place. Get that afro in a bun, girl. Oh. You'll see how schoolish it looks. We cannot go to school looking all fly. We need to look neat. Cornrows and plates are so neat. Uh, we're taking okay. this a little out of proportion. <laughs> Everything isn't a racial issue. We're making it to be, we need to chill out and discipline our kids in obeying the rules. It will take kids far. Let school be school. Um, I, 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 I disagree with some of the points that yeah. um, she's raised. The reason why it is a racial issue is because who gets the rule? Yeah. Who's being told that they need to wear their hair in a certain way? Mm. If everyone is being told that, I don't, we would be having a different conversation. Are you telling me my hair is not neat and it's not touching the collar, which is the code of conduct? Or are you telling me my afro, which grows out the, this way, and your hair that might do the same is not the same thing and it shouldn't be allowed? I, so the conversation when you're telling me that, <clears throat> oh, it's the afro and it can... I saw another comment that said, um, <laughs> if you have an afro and you're sitting in the front of the class, someone's not going to be able to see. Wow. I, it, wow. This, again, speaks yeah. to what I was saying. You're telling me I am invalid. You're telling mm -hmm. me what I yeah. have and what comes out of my hair naturally yeah. is not the thing that needs to be seen in school or in spaces. Exactly. You're... You're, you're coming back at who I am yeah. and what I, I and, and represent. And that's the damaging thing, because Very long much. before you've even opened your school book or put pen to paper, you're being told you're not good enough. Mm. Exactly. You need to change who you are in mm. order to be accepted. And, and even, even putting racism aside, this is what happens to women on a daily basis. Mm. Before we even get into the boardroom, mm. into the schoolroom, we have to check certain boxes of what society says is acceptable. Mm. And that, to me, isn't good. It's mm. destructive. That's very destructive. It's very destructive. And I think to have to kind of have to unlearn that when you get to the working place, because you still have to go through high school, then varsity, then get yeah. to the workplace, and then still need to find yourself again. And, like, it's... That shouldn't have to happen. I yeah. think the, the lessons that really matter should be starting at a very young age. And I mean, yeah. when you look at that beautiful girl who's really kind of become the face of the whole movement, yeah. her hair is amazing. Yeah. And why can't we celebrate that? Yeah. Um, she's pro she possibly could be passing with, you know, good grades. Why aren't we focusing yeah. on if the academic, let the academic be the academic. Mm -hmm. We're not saying that people must come there with crazy hair to class. Yeah. But that in that state looks amazing. Exactly. It's neat, it's tidy, it represents who she is. Yeah. 
you know? So I think the conversation is very heated and it's very easy for people to get passionate about it because mm -hmm. it touches at who we are culturally. So yeah. it's a bit, it's, 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 a, it's a very tough one. It is a very, very tough one, but an important one. Mm -hmm. And I'm so happy that we're opening this up and that we're discussing this. Um, it's, we've been quiet about it far too long. Thank you so much. We'll chat again later. We're going to catch so up with you again later. We are going to continue this conversation. Of course, if you have a comment or if you have a question for our uh, ladies from Pub Culture, please do continue to make sure that you put those messages on social media. Well, from one social media to a uh, topic to another, let's find out what's trending. Oh, you can make my day.